If you're going to your next wedding, formal event, or any occasion where you need to wear a suit, you need to listen up. In this video, I'm gonna explain to you why does it make sense to buy a $100 suit for some people and why it makes sense to buy a $1,000 suit if you're that person. So I'm gonna start by educating you on the difference between a $100 suit or a cheaper suit and a more expensive suit like a $1,000 suit. After I do that, I'm gonna show you a cheap suit that I have and then I'm gonna show you a $1,000 suit that I have. When I was in college, I realized a lot of benefits of having a $100 suit. I did not have much money, obviously, in college, but I still needed to find a job. I still needed to look my best whenever I stepped out of the house and I had to dress up. Now, obviously, if you're watching this and you're in college, you're a young man, or you're just starting out getting your paycheck and you can't afford a $1,000 suit, this is the reasons why you should spend a little less money on a suit. The benefits of it, obviously, it's a suit. You're still gonna look good, and the most important parts about having a cheaper suit is how you style it. The majority of people are not gonna look at you and know that you have on a cheaper suit, because most people don't have the knowledge or know the difference. So you're going to look good regardless if you can style clothes. And that's where I was able to look good. Of course, a $100 suit is a suit that you can get off the rack anywhere. It is mass produced and produced by a machine. A $100 suit is going to have cheaper fabrics such as a polyester blend in the suit. This is a synthetic blend that you can buy in bulk and it doesn't cost much at all to make. It's also gonna have cheap inner lining in the suit. When you see a $100 suit online and you compare it to a $1,000 suit, it may not be much of a difference when you're looking at it there, but when you get up on the $100 suit and you start touching it and you examine the suit, you'll see that it's much rougher and stiff than you think. So let's talk about the inner lining in a $100 suit. The inner lining in a $100 suit is an infused canvas. What this means is the panels in the chest area of the suit are glued together, which makes it very insulated and you get very hot when you wear the suit. So if any of you guys are always worried about wearing a suit is super hot and it doesn't feel comfortable, this is why, because of that infused canvas. Now in this situation with this $100 suit having that infused canvas, it makes it very stiff, not comfortable to wear, and it doesn't drape over your body the way it's supposed to. And for obvious reasons, it's a cheaper suit. Now in the beginning, some of you may be wondering, this isn't a big deal. A suit's gonna wear the way any suit would wear. But you want a suit to wear with comfortability, but you also want it to last long as well. Over time, from the wear and tear of wearing a $100 suit, and also from rain and weather, that glued canvas is going to start to separate over time. Which means your suit isn't gonna have any longevity versus the money that you spent. So let's take for instance, you have an interview that's straight out of college. You interview for that job, you got the job, and you feel really proud about that job. Let's say you move to a different position and you have to interview for that one as well. This is a much higher paying position and you want to be presentable for that one. And you've been wearing that suit for a long time, let's say maybe four plus years. You go back to try to wear that suit and it doesn't fit and it looks terrible. In this situation, a $100 suit is a quick fix, but it doesn't solve you being able to have a suit for a long time. When you buy a suit, a suit is supposed to last you for at least a decade, depending on how much your body changes. Another drawback to a $100 suit is that if you take a look at the buttons on the sleeve, those sleeves are non-functional, which means you can't flip them up, the buttons actually really don't work, which are essentially fake. Now again, if you don't have much time and you don't have much budget to play with, a $100 suit is feasible for you. It's all about how you style it. And I have worn $100 suits in many of my videos and got plenty of compliments from you guys and other people that I've worn it around. Styling is the key. So now let's talk about a $1,000 suit. You can find a $1,000 suit that is of course off the rack in a store or from a designer brand. You can also get a $1,000 suit that is a custom suit as well. Now a $1,000 suit is always going to range from about 8 to 30 hours of work that's put in. Because the suit is $1,000, it takes much more hand work that is put into the suit. Now the benefits of a thousand dollar suit when it's off of the rack is that you can get a suit right then and there that is made of great quality fabrics. Those great fabrics help your suit to drape and fit on you properly. Unlike the hundred dollar suit that has an infused canvas, a thousand dollar suit is going to have a half or full canvas. A half canvas is sewn into a suit which is typically made of materials like horsehair, wool, and cotton. A half or full canvas suit that's made of these materials makes it much more easier and comfortable to wear because it's way more breathable with those fabrics and materials. Now a full canvas suit is a little bit more expensive than a thousand dollars but it's sewn throughout your whole body instead of just half of it. The longevity of a thousand dollar suit is going to be much more than a hundred dollar suit. Now another detail of a thousand dollar suit which are some suits that I have are custom or made to measure. Now there's two important things to note about paying for a suit that's a thousand plus dollars that's custom. Now a custom made to measure suit is a pre-existing pattern that is made and modified to get as close to the fit of your body as possible. 
You have way more control on how this suit is constructed and how it looks. You can also control how the lining looks, the lapel style looks, the pocket style looks, and details that are shown in the jacket. I will note that this process takes a whole lot longer than buying a suit right off the rack. If you do want to get a custom suit that lasts a long time, I suggest waiting anywhere from four to six weeks of your time. Another form of a custom suit is bespoke, and bespoke is way more expensive than $1,000. I don't have a bespoke suit yet, I definitely hope that I can get the opportunity to get Get one one day. Some quick things to note about a bespoke suit is that this is the highest form of craftsmanship and quality. This whole suit is made from scratch to be unique to only you. So basically if you're a baller and money is not an issue to you and you have plenty of time to plan out in advance to wait on your suit, you should definitely go with a custom or bespoke suit. Now that we got the education out of the way, let's compare the details between this $100 green suit that I have and a $1,000 green suit that I have. So starting off with this one is the $100 suit. This suit is from Target. It is a linen suit as well. If you take a look at some of the details that I'll note about this one, you'll see with the lapels, the lapels are a little bit skinnier, a little bit smaller. Those are a signifier that it's a cheaper suit. If you also look at the buttons on the sleeve, like I told you earlier, these are non-functional, so they don't move. They're just there just for looks. And then if you look at the material on the patch pockets, you can see that that's a lot cheaper as well. You can see that the suit is a lot thinner and it doesn't really have much construction in it also because it is linen, but also because of that fused canvas as well. I will say to the common eye, you probably are thinking this suit looks good and the fitting is impeccable. I did get this suit tailored, which is really important if you're going to get a cheaper suit. Tailoring is key. I did get my stuff tailored when I only had money to buy a cheaper suit. I invested maybe 30 to $50 extra to make sure the tailoring was on point so that I looked high quality even if I was wearing a cheaper suit. Now, to give you some context, Context on this thousand dollar suit. This is from a friend of mine who makes suits. His name is Eric Austin. His company is called Eric Austin Customs. This suit right here is an Ariston fabric, which if any of you know about fabrics, when it comes to custom suits, it is very expensive, very breathable, and just looks great. If you take a look at the sheen, you can see the high quality sheen on the suit. You can also take a look at the sleeves, this buttons on this sleeve. You can see that they are functional buttons, which means this is more of a high quality suit. You can tell that the lapels are a whole lot more pronounced, more masculine, have a little bit more size to them. And that's because I had more detail when I chose how to pick the lapels on this suit. You'll also notice the difference between the $100 trousers and the trousers that are on this $1,000 suit. They have side tabs on them. They also are fitted and they have a two inch cuff on them that is custom made. There also was a two inch cuff on the $100 suit, but this came just with tailoring. Also another detail that you can get on a $1,000 suit that is particularly made to measure custom, but you'll see the company, the brand that made the suit, but you'll also see that I have my own company name in the suit as well. And this is a customization feature that you can get anytime that you get a made to measure suit. And then you'll also notice that it is a Ariston fabric as well that it says it in the suit made in italy the hundred dollar suit most likely is going to be made in a much cheaper fashion somewhere else other than italy and that is the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it if you want more information about suits here's a video i did on 10 ways to style a blazer check it out